Pea hens, gentle birds, chickens of all ages, Beck here. Yes, I'm reading off a script I only wrote last night. So sorry if there's a lot of jumping around and grossness and me constantly looking over here. Yes, I did actually write that. And that. And that. It's on the script. Yeah. Um, now I know that on my channel I've done a few episode reviews, uh, nanobeel videos, random vlogs here and there, and small game, like only Papa's game. I'm about to do more games. This came in the mail. For now, I wanted to take a moment to talk about something that I've mentioned in passing in a few of my other videos. My book, Sunrise. I wanted to take a moment to tell everyone about the story, uh, the characters, um, how it all started, how it's evolved since it started, and you know, just stuff like that. So, the beginning, I suppose. So, <laughs> everything began in 2008, and 2008 in itself was an alright year. Like before that, I never really picked up on how creepy my mom's boyfriends were, but I, I did know that they were bad people, and I sort of, I kind of understood that they were bad men, but it just never really... It was 2008, I was what? How old was I in 2008? 14? 13? Yeah, in 2006 she met someone who wasn't very nice and probably the worst of my mum's boyfriends. And from 2006 everything was fine, I suppose. 2008 is when it really started to affect me. The arguments got worse. The arguments were at least every night. And, and then, in typical Australian fashion, alcohol was involved. Because in Australia, alcohol is involved in everything. Why it really started affecting me is because um, my mum's boyfriend started involving my brother and I in his arguments with my mother. I guess it was a, in a way to try and get my mum to feel guilty and to bend to his will. I've written that down. Bend to his will. So I escaped because life was horrible. Home was horrible at least. So I escaped and I didn't like run away. Well, I tried to but that's not the point. I know, I only tried once. But yeah, like I didn't run away, I didn't dive into drugs or alcohol or like making myself feel pain and cry every night. Like, you know, like the most 13, 14 year olds would have done in that situation. I escaped into here and my computers. And at this time, back in 08, I was sort of semi-obsessed with like Witch and Sailor Moon. Like just constantly watching those shows, constantly watching shows involving strong women, saving the world, the superpowers, and then loving my escape from my home at school with the friends that I loved to death, I sort of created Sunrise. Back then it wasn't called Sunrise. I actually can't remember what it was called when it first started, um, but it was a trilogy um, and it had a total of nine main characters. All girls, all with different personalities and very different backstories and different powers and every chapter was in a different girl's point of view. So yeah, it was a lot of researching for the characters and I actually thought for a while that I was schizophrenic because I had nine uh, personalities in my head including myself which makes it ten personalities in my head. Don't worry, I'm not that past pretty quickly. Once I got further into writing, I noticed that the nine characters all had traits from my closest friends and myself. So I was almost writing my friends and myself as <laughs> superheroes saving the day, like saving humankind from the planet. And that's what it was back in 2000, well, well back then anyway. Nine girls, all with supernatural powers over the elements, so there was water, fire, earth, air, lightning, metal, ice, light, and darkness. Then they were all trying to defend humankind from the planet, trying to destroy itself to end the human race so we could begin again. Sounds cool, right? Anyway, I was writing that one for years and it was always changing. 
new things were being added, old things were being cut when they were becoming when they became irrelevant. It was I think 2012 when I finally finished the trilogy, but I just was not satisfied. I think I almost despised it. Um, it felt too stretched out. There were too many girls to focus on, too many characters to fall in love with, even if it was over three books, and again, it felt way too stretched out. So I did some major cutting, and I mean major, and a lot of them actually hurt. Uh, but for the time, at the time, it felt fitting. Like, I'd just moved state, I'd had to, I had to say goodbye to all my friends and everything I knew and moved to a whole new place. And at 16, never nice. Nine girls turned into four, three books turned into one, fighting the planet turned into fighting a big enemy from the past. Past soldiers turned and became actual lives that spoilers. Before when the girls were, were like soldiers, which is what it was called back in like the 2010-2011 era, it was Soldiers or Soldiers 9. And even before that they had like hearts and links and their hearts were their boyfriends and if anything were to happen to their boyfriend the girls would feel it and vice versa. Example, if the boy got hit in the nuts with a baseball bat, the girl would feel the pain. Also, if a girl was hit in the abdomen with a baseball, which that actually does hurt, I've had that happen to me, it hurts like a bit yach, the guy would feel it also. And then links were the key to the girl's sanity. If a link died, the girl would go insane, like she'd turn evil and become another enemy for the other eights to fight until she could replace her link. Like the whole link thing, that, that was scrapped. Like, and so was the heart. Well, the girls, the girls still have their boyfriends. Like, I've, I loved writing their relationships too much, so I just couldn't scrape the relationships. But there's just not such a huge connection, like, between them. There, there was one couple that I loved writing so much. Like, I loved their character, I loved their stories, and I loved everything about them. But they just didn't fit Sunrise anymore. They didn't fit what... Sunrise was becoming, so they did get cut from Sunrise, but now they have their own story, which is completely unconnected to Sunrise, besides the origin, but anyway, back to Sunrise. So I wrote the entire story again. Keeping four girls, I wrote it only in one girl's point of view, give or take a few moments when she's out of action. And their personalities changed a little bit as well. The rough, tough tomboy turned out to have a huge weak spot and a huge soft spot. Um, the dreamer turned into a little selfish, kind of biatch in some ways. The flamboyant, lovable gamer shows that even the most fun people can turn to hell if one hurts the things and the people they love. And the genius, who always had time for a good book, or even a bad book, she just had time for a book no matter what, turns into a not so genius but still good street smarts, will only read if she's got nothing important to do, a ferocious leader who finally learns what it's like to have real friends. Anyone who's been sad or lonely and has just been closed in the darkest pits of life knows what it, that does to a person, knows what finding friends and not just normal friends but friends that really prove to you that they're there for you, like they know what that does to a person. They know what it did to Rosalind and they know what they did to me. Sunrise is a story I'm sure you've picked up by now, it's about friendship and loyalties and the trials that come with it, but it also includes war and death and sacrifice, love and so, so much more. Uh, there's conflict, there's humour, um, there's adventure. Well, I hope there is. You'll have to read it and then tell me if there is or if I'm just not very good at the whole reading, thinking, writing thing. Character-wise, there's still diversity. Like, that hasn't changed. Like, before the nine girls were from like France, Italy, Philly, North Carolina, London, Ireland, it's everywhere. That hasn't changed. <laughs> the awful girls are from 
completely different parts of the world. Like the main, main, main character, Rosalind Fisher, a brunette girl in her very early 20s, like me. And she also lived thousands of lives before. And, and this time, she's born in London, England. It was troublesome writing and thinking in an English accent, even though <laughs> I've noticed that I just started doing it just then. Um, I remember a few times I messaged like an old classmate, well technically she was my fiance's old classmate but we had a class together. And she was English, uh, so I asked her what people from England would answer certain ways, um, if tea really was a culture, you know, all that stuff. And then we have Hayley Jones, the fun-loving, energetic, red-haired gamer. She's a theatre nut and an Australian. Being Australian myself, I could not cut her. Like, I had to have at least one Aussie. And even when there was nine of them, she was the only Australian out of the nine girls. She had, she, she had to be kept. Also because I had the most fun writing her. Like, her personality is amazing. It's similar, anyway, to the personality of my best friend for 12 years. Has it really been, huh, 12 years? Wow. Then there's Maya, Mia, Maya. I pronounce it Maya. Everybody else is pronouncing it Mia. Maybe I'll just say it's Mia, but I like Maya. Maya Mayfield, um, blonde, pure blood American, who loves her sports and hates having to sit still for more than five minutes. Sometimes, looking back on Maya, I feel bad and guilty for her past. It's never changed since 2008 and I never wanted to. And I can only hope that people don't hate me for trying to do what I did with Maya. Spoilers, I can't go into that further. I just want people to know that it's because of her past and what came with it that she's built up these walls and become such a hard person. And then finally we have Adelina Rizzo. The most difficult to write about but one of my favourite characters because she's Italian. There was a point where I tried to write her accent but I've never actually met or talked to an Italian and all I have are like YouTube videos of people talking in an Italian accent but you can never really trust those because it could just be someone practicing an Italian accent and then I even tried using Marzia as a voice base but her voice is just so unique that I just couldn't use it. Adelina is also the character I do feel the most guilt over simply because of how much of her story was cut. There's a reason her father doesn't live with them. There's a reason she's so defensive over her twin brother and her younger brother. So much was cut from Adelina. She just turned into a semi-selfish dreamer kind of semi-bitch. And I really hope that by watching this video, if anyone still is, you understand while reading that Adelina is doing everything she is because she simply never had the opportunity before. Like if you had nothing but fear and a door was opened to a world that you could you could and have only dreamt of, you would follow that through no matter what. Unfortunately, it just meant that Adelina put the world to the side so she could follow that path. See? Conflicting interests. And then you have their boyfriends, Jordan Holmes, Peter Crawford, Tyler, Taylor Williams, and Gabriel Rizzo. Yes, I said Rizzo. Yes, Gabriel is Adelina's twin brother. Um, but that's what I'm really getting into those boys, as a fair bit of their stories were changed, cut, and moved around as well. Example, Taylor Williams, he only has like two or three scenes in Sunrise where he used to have like 15 or 50. One of the two. He went from a really big semi-character to he's only in a few scenes. <laughs> but that's all I'm going into the boys. Now, earlier this year, 2016 this year, I was able to get four girls to model Rosalind, Haley, Maya and Adelina for me. And so far from what I've seen, the pictures are pretty perfect. Like, the character shots show absolutely 
nothing about the girls having superpowers and that's perfect because these girls are just ordinary girls but soon previews of these photos will be released they won't be the official photos they'll just be like another photo that I'm not really using and they'll be like coming soon sprawled on them and they'll be released on my social media sites which you can get in the description down below and I will also be trying to make just a small video on them on them but don't hold me to that really because I wouldn't. When the official pictures actually properly come out I will be talking more in depth about the character and the changes that were specifically made to them and their story and all the fun stuff like that. So please uh, keep an eye on the Sunrise official Facebook page again down there and please check out Sunrise as well. You can read the first four chapters including the prologue as well as the prologue on my DeviantArt which you can get, get down below to get you introduced and started and if you love what you're hearing and if you love what you read um, please donate a minimum of five dollars to gofundme.com slash sunrise2016 to help me reach the goal of six thousand odd dollars I need to get Sunrise published like I'm doing all I can to do it myself like ever so often when I have the money I put money onto that GoFundMe but still being a student and only working one five hour shift a week it's not easy and I do really need help with that anyways thank you again for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye bye